Hi there. Um, my good friend, uh, Charles Ripple, Chuck Ripple, and fellow radio aficionado, um, got in touch with me a while ago. Um, he watched some of my uh, reception videos using the 200 feet, 240 meter long barbed wire fence um, that I've been using as an antenna uh, with the Texan uh, PL310 uh, ET. Um, and he wrote to me and uh, very kindly offered to build me uh, a matching transformer uh, for use with beverage antennas. Um, now I've built a couple of matching transformers myself um, and I, but I've only actually used them once or twice. Um, the issue is with, with the barbed wire fence is that although it has been demonstrated to work pretty well as an antenna I don't really know anything really about its electrical properties. It's probably directional, but again, I don't, I don't know to what degree because I don't know how well earthed it is, where the earthing points are, etc. Uh, and interestingly, I have actually purchased an earth rod. Now they're pretty cheap, about three pounds, um, and was actually planning to earth it. But Charles's point was that. Um, with a matching transformer, um, it might improve the uh, signal to noise that I'm get, getting from it, um, which is a great idea. Uh, and he was, as I said, he was kind enough to actually offer to build me one and send it to me. And it duly arrived um, about a week ago. Uh, here it is, but he actually also sent me a, a common mode choke. So this, that's the matching transformer. And this is the common mode filter. Now, the matching transformer is designed to match, uh, well, 450 ohms to, to 50. Uh, and the idea is basically that you attach the um, antenna to one side, you earth the other side of the toroid um, and then connect to the receiver. Um, now the uh, toroid in here has, uh, I think it's an 1133 uh, transformer. Uh, as I said, I built, I have built a couple of these before, um, but this is a really nice bit of kit actually with a rubber seal, which means that it's to a certain extent weatherproof uh, and I was very grateful to receive this but what he also sent me um, was this which is common mode filter so this is another toroid uh, wound on an FT140 which is a ferrite ring um, with an uh, inductance of 5500 microhenries per 100 turns squared um, basically provides or supposedly provides um, very good attenuation from about half a megahertz to 20 megahertz. Um, toroid rings, the, spec the specifications are pretty loose, so this is sort of plus or minus sort of 25 percent. But nevertheless, um, very kind of Charles to uh, also supply me with this. Um, now, the idea of the common mode filter is if you're using a directional antenna such as a beverage, uh, of which I have a 200 meter kind of deployable. Uh, version or a very long fence such as the barbed wire fence then you're kind of if you're relying on it being directional um, then what this does is this basically attenuates signals that or spurious signals that you're going to pick up from the shielding on your coax feed line um, and the I and so in to use this um, for it to be most effective it has to be as close to the antenna kind of input socket on the receiver as possible uh, I think he said that he uses his on a piece of cable that's literally about six inches long so this basically runs in series so effectively the receiver then the common mode choke um, then the matching uh, transformer uh, and then the antenna and earth so 
I was planning to take this out on the expedition last Friday, um, but it was a holiday and one thing led to another. But in the next few days, I am going to take this bit of kit out with me with one of my portable receivers, probably the Eaton satellite. Um, and I'm going to set this up uh, on the barbed wire fence. What I'm also going to do is, uh, is put my, well, I think it's a four foot long earth rod. So I'm going to take a hammer and hammer this, <laughs> that into the ground and wire it all up uh, and test it. And it will be interesting to compare the signal to noise that I'm getting um, with the receiver simply clipped to the fence um, using a uh, short piece of wire and a crocodile clip, as I have done, um, versus this kind of more professional setup. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, but most of all, um, I'm extremely grateful to Chuck for being kind enough to build me these two uh, pieces of kit and to sending them to me from the United States. Um, I hope that at some point in the future I can reciprocate and do him a favour, but um, for now uh, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, he's a great chap um, and he's got his own uh, YouTube channel, um, which you guys, you know, if you can, um, you should take a look at it. Um, it's NS, NS Norfolk. Um, he's left a comment on my most recent video, which is the kind of unboxing and a kind of brief tour of the main features of the Sanjian uh, ATS 99X. So if you, if you want to find him quickly, um, he's left a comment on that video. Um, check out his channel. Um, He's technically very capable um, and I think he's been DXing since about 1970 so uh, he knows his stuff um, and I'm uh, grateful to uh, to know him basically um, really really helpful guy um, so as I said I thought I'd share that with you and um, at some point in the near future I'll um, conduct some tests um, with the uh, matching transformer and the common mode uh, choke filter and uh, upload the results to the channel. Okay, well, thanks for watching.